All right, welcome once again. We are back at Cabal for One. We are going to go in there on a Sun Elf this time, another iconic race. This build is called the Radiator. Its entire premise is that uh, it uses the Warlock Enhancement Brilliance and the Cleric Enhancement, radi Positive Radiance Aura, Positive Energy Aura, sorry, to uh, sustain a lot of healing, a lot of survivability without using spell points. All right, Paladin is uh, for the Sacred Defender stance. Charisma modifier to saves, and that's pretty much the basics of it. We use a tower shield, even though we're not proficient with it. We do that for all the excellent, excellent PRR that it offers. You can see this tower shield here is just a tower shield I got from the auction house. It was actually the cheapest tower shield I could find in the auction house. And while I'm using it, I have a 73 PRR. If I switch to the Shining Wall, the large shield that comes with the uh, cleric gear, it drops down by 10, so that's a, it's a nice 10 PRR simply for having a tower shield instead of a large shield. All the rest of the gear is regular uh, Sun Elf uh, gear. I brought a wand of invisibility so I could make it out here without being beat up too much. Let's take a look at the enhancements. As I mentioned, the enhancements are all about the Cleric, Positive Energy Aura, Reactive Heal, positive energy burst and brilliance. The enlightened spirit uh, enhancement takes a minimum of 21 points to get into. That did not give me any points remaining to uh, reach sacred defense, but you'd also want to have sacred defender and of course uh, greater sacred defense for plus six to your con. Alright, let's go see if we can find some bad guys to tank. Maybe we'll come across a crown. Let's see what we can do. Two bad guys, three bad guys, five bad guys. Alright, as always, we take out the shaman. You know, casters go down first. Mostly because he's annoying and he's self healing. But uh, take a look. Right now, uh, my aura is going off. Um, oh, we have a, oh, we do have a crown. I didn't notice you. Should I be concerned about you? It doesn't look like it. You got true sight. Looks like you could do a little damage, maybe. Burst, some reactive healing. Alright. Let's see what this guy. I can't talk to him yet, apparently. Apparently you can't talk to the guy until uh, you've killed off some of his friends, I don't know. Oh, there we go. No. This character can easily do that. I can definitely throw an Intim down there and get some people a little riled up. Alright. There isn't really, like I said, there isn't really much else going on. These guys uh, are not impossible to kill by any means. My damage is just very small. 
archer passing. multiple mobs and fights where you need somebody that can throw a heal while taking a beating. Uh, the quicken enhancement, quicken uh, feat is definite must. And that's all there is. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. I'm going to exit out of here because uh, fighting with these guys is uh, certainly boring. And I'll catch you guys later. Alright, stay alive.